Okay, guys, this is chapter 15, problem 10. In this question, we're given the following equations, the demand equation, total revenue, marginal revenue, and marginal cost equations. And for the first part of the question, we're asked, what's the profit maximizing price and quantity? So recall that profit maximization occurs where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. And so here we set the two equations equal to each other. Marginal revenue is 1,000 minus 20Q and marginal cost is 100 plus 10Q. And so we get 900 equals 30Q. And so 30 is going to equal Q. As the quantity to get the price, we plug this into the demand equation where price equals 1,000 minus 10Q. So price equals 1,000 minus 10 times 30, uh, which is 300. And so price equals 700. The second part of the question is asking us then, what is the welfare maximizing price and quantity? So welfare maximization occurs where marginal cost equals demand. And so, we were given those two equations in the first part of the problem. And so we set those equals to each other. So marginal cost is 100 plus 10Q, and this equals 1,000 minus 10Q. And so we get 20Q equals 900, or Q equals 45. And we get the price by plugging this into the de demand equation where we have 1,000, sorry, price equals 1,000 minus 10Q, price equals 1,000 minus 10 times 45, which is 450, and so price equals 550. For the third part of the question, we're asked to calculate deadweight loss. And so remember that deadweight loss, here's the graph for a monopoly, the monopoly is going to, here's marginal revenue, demand, and marginal cost. The, the monopolist is going to produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost, but they're going to charge this P star. And so this right here is the dead weight loss. We want to calculate the area in that triangle. So from parts A and part B, we saw that the difference between the uh, welfare maximizing and the profit maximizing levels of production and the prices was a difference uh, between 40, 45 and 30 for the quantity and between 700 and 550 for the price. And so because it's a triangle, therefore we have to cut it in half. So it's gonna be one half times 45 minus 30 times 700 minus 550. So that's gonna be one half times 15 times 150 and that's going to equal 1,125. The last part of the question then, uh, then tells us that the company is considering paying the director of this movie that they're producing one of these four options, either flat rate of 2,000, 50% of the profits, 150 per unit sold, or 50% of the revenue. For each of these, it tells us to calculate the new profit maximizing price and quantity, and then ask which one alters the deadweight loss. So this is actually easier than it seems. The only one of these that's going to alter um, the profit maximization is going to be this number three, because that's the only one that alters either the marginal cost or the marginal revenue. All the other ones are dealing with the totals. And so the new marginal cost curve, we'll say the old marginal cost curve was um, 100 plus 10Q. So the new marginal is called a new marginal cost is going to be 250 plus 10Q. And then we just do exactly what we did before. We set marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. And then minus 20Q and we solve for Q. And then this is going to be 30Q equals 750 and Q equals 25, and then we plug that back into the demand equation. So we have price equals 1,000 minus 10Q, which equals 1,000 minus 10 times 25. Uh, and this, of course, is 250. So we get price equals 750. So then the only one of these that's also going to alter the cost is this uh, 
numbers for this third option. So this was chapter 15. 